Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another episode of a manager career mode starting off our FIFA 21 journey men manager career mode. So if you guys uh, did miss it last year, our main career mode, we did start at Atlanta United last year. Um, we won everything we could here. And then we moved on to other leagues and continued uh, getting jobs in different leagues, trying to win at different trophies. Uh, that's the same thing we're gonna be doing here. Kind of similar to the player career mode. Obviously, we're just trying to become the best that we absolutely can. Um, and I want to try to win the league in as many different countries as we can as well. Obviously, if there's continental competitions there, we will be going for those as well. But there's a lot of things we got to get into today. Um, I haven't done much, but here's the big thing that I've done off camera. Um, and that is the development screen. So this screen right here is going to be where the majority of your development is in FIFA 21, right? So as you guys see here, Brad Guzan, he is currently on a balanced uh, development plan. Reason being is because he's 35 years old and really his stats are only going to go down. So there's really no point in me giving him a detailed uh, plan for his training because it's not going to affect him regardless. But if we just sort the ages um, and then we go low to high, scroll back up to the top because it doesn't auto scroll for you. Uh, we have much more detailed development plans. Now, whenever you first start your career mode, everything in the right column is balanced all the time. All of your players will be on a balanced development plan. You could absolutely leave them just like that and they will grow in a, deve uh, in a balanced development plan, just as it sounds. But if you come in here and then you actually click on a player, so let's click on George Bello, just cause obviously we all know Georgie, we all love Bello, but um, we, have, we have different options for him. So the big thing here is that yes, you can change player positions now. I'm not too concerned about changing Bello's um, position, at least at, not as of right now. Currently, I'm working him as a defensive wide back. And the reason being, I don't intend on him forever being a defensive wide back. He has 80 pace, he has 78 acceleration, uh, which will get better through the defensive wide back um, development plan, but I need his defensive stats to get better. So I'm gonna focus on making him even more defensive than he already is. And it is going to um, rocket up some of these stats so of course i could do the same thing with some of his more attacking stats but because i already have barco on that side currently um and if barco leaves we bring somebody else in and yada 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 we don't necessarily need him to push up all the time i don't need him to be able to cross if anything i really just need him to make a successful short pass to barco and barco makes the cross ideally now later on after we do get his uh defensive awareness stand tackling uh, stamina, strength, aggression, interceptions, reactions. Once all of those go up and we're a little bit more comfortable defensively with Barco, we'll start working him more as an attacking wide back or a wide back in general. Um, but as you guys see, so some of these have just a dash mark for their uh, for their development, meaning it's not going to go up. That it's capped. 85 agility is capped for Barco, but that's great for a left back, so that is totally fine. Um, but in that in saying that there's really no point in me just training him as a wide back because it's basically wasting um, his development on agility whenever I could just work uh, heavily right now on his defensive and then work on his attacking here in the future. So I went ahead and did that for all of our players. Um, realistically, you're really looking at only doing it to players up into the age of 26 to 28 range. Um, that's about the peak or the max that you guys are going to hit whenever you're doing this yourself. Um, I think keepers have a better chance of developing later on, whereas like Jurgen Dam and uh, Kupo Torres are not going to progress as much at the age of 26 just because their positions are a little bit more based on pace and agility and some other things that you're really not going to get um, 26 and older. But Joseph Martinez, 26 years old, maybe it's because he's in better shape or already has a little bit more um, of the of the physical stats, it's more of just the technical stats that he gets better at. So we can train him as a target man and work on his physical dribbling, passing, uh, heading accuracy and stuff like that. So that is the stuff that I've already done. Um, now, if you guys wanna see any contract stuff, these are the players that we have on a one year contract. These are the guys that we're gonna have to renew their contract for by the end of the season. A lot of players on a one year contract we're gonna have to deal with uh, come the end of this season. But we'll deal with that at a different time. Um, the other thing, we have our weekly schedule. Uh, if you guys do 
have already heard all of this or already know about all of this, feel free to skip it, obviously. But in case you guys haven't seen it yet, you can set your training, your recovery, your training, and your rest. So as you guys see on the screen, it affects your fitness, sharpness, and morale levels depending on how you schedule your team. Um, most teams aren't going to be happy or most players are going to be happy with constant training. So you do need to make sure you're balancing it out just as much as you're balancing their fitness and their sharpness. Now, the higher their fitness gets over 50%, the higher and higher it gets actually the more attribute points get added to their, uh, to their players. So you can actually make your players better by keeping them sharp. Whereas if they drop under 50% and the closer they get to zero, their rating actually ends up decreasing, which we'll see, um, as as time goes on i do have some friendly scheduled just because uh it helps with match sharpness so you don't want to be skipping friendlies this year um, i know it was very common to skip friendlies in the past couple fifas but now you are definitely going to want to do it um, another big thing of course you have your emails at the beginning we know the introductions we know the scouting reports we're not too worried about that uh, we know the visions and expectations. We can go through that later. But the Youth Academy report. Now when you start a career mode, and even when you leave this team and move to a different team and manager career mode, you're already going to have a Youth Academy set up for you. You're already gonna have players in the Youth Academy set up for you, including one player that is in particular going to already be um, an, a future star type player because they got rid of the FIFA coin store, the EA, whatever the the heck it was called uh the ea sports fc store or whatever it was in the top right corner of the previous fifas so this guy 15 years old center mid has the potential of 71 to 94 55 rated already uh he's looking like a solid player now this guy we can go ahead and re release him we're not too worried about it now you can also set development plans in here I haven't done, I occasionally I will, but I like to see what their potential is going to work out to be a little bit and kind of just let them work on a lot of these stats because as you see, obviously they're young kids. They don't have a lot of these stats built out, but players maybe like this Pepple guy, you know, he's already got the acceleration and sprint speed. So maybe we want to focus a little bit something on something else or Yeva to Shenko. You know, he's got sprint speed, balance, and acceleration already. Maybe we should start focusing on some other things. But we'll let him rock a little bit. Um, and that is our current youth academy. But, of course, you can um, hire your own youth scouts, which I'm going to be doing as well. Um, but here is the next and I think last big thing. Um, make sure you're doing your uh, drills. And the reason being... And I'm not going to show you guys all the drills. I'll show you what ratings I get. I'm just going to play through them. But tr tr play through every single drill once and try to get an A. Because if you get an A, you get an A every single time you simulate it from then on. You, you, Every time you simulate a drill, you get whatever your best rating was in that drill automatically. So it is absolutely huge to make sure you guys are doing drills. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do this and I'll show you whatever rating I end up getting. All right, so this first one, first try, went ahead and got an A, so we're good to go here. Um, this affects the fitness and sharpness for Rosetto, uh, Torres, Adam, John, Walks, and Bello. Now, I should mention that um, training drills, as of right now, from what I can tell, really only affect fitness and sharpness. I don't think it's really affecting player rating, but the better their sharpness is, the better form they're going to be in, and the better their, uh, their stats should end up rising while they're playing in game, as well as their development plan. But training isn't your direct impact into, tra or into uh, rating development this year, if I should put it that way, maybe. But I'll show you guys these other two drills, uh, whatever ratings I end up getting. This is my favorite drill. Honestly, I like just doing this drill at the start of FIFA's uh, or the start of like my my day on FIFA just because it's a nice little passing drill. Uh, this one's the easiest version, but then they add a defender here shortly. But I'll show you guys the rating, whatever I end up getting, and then uh, we'll just keep moving on. All right, we got an A on that one, nice and easy. It's just a little passing drill, but it's what you got to do. And uh, we got one more defending scenario, so I'm going to go ahead and get an A on this one, and then I'll show you guys, and we'll keep moving on and hopefully even get into a game here. 
All right, first try on this one as well. And if you guys ever do end up messing up a drill and not getting an A, you have three attempts, but just know if you, if you pass up on a B and you end up getting a C on the other options, uh, the best result you're gonna end up getting is a C. So, um, but we went ahead and did that so we never have to do these three drills again. If they ever come up again, we can uh, just go ahead and simulate those drills as well in training sessions as I'll show you guys. You can actually change the players and the drills that are involved in it. Um, so this one's gonna have Moreno, Dam, Barco, uh, Franco Escobar, Miles Robinson, Meza, Mazzetto, uh, or Rosetto, not Mazzetto, uh, Martinez, Torres, and Bello. But if I came in here and just clicked on one, um, I could change the players and I could change the drill. So as you guys will see here, uh, this is the drill we did earlier. Uh, we went ahead and got an A in it, but we wanna make sure that we're getting an A in every single one of these drills, which I know looks like a lot, cause it is, but um, this will inevitably um, help us out just going ahead and doing these whenever they come up and then anytime the replacements come up you just click on one and you hit uh, simulate drill um, and then it goes ahead and uh, simulates it forward for you um, I'm just gonna keep these same players in these drills for now um, I'm not seeing anybody that I really want to replace maybe I take Meza out once his uh, once his sharpness gets a little bit higher um, but as of right now, some of these sharpness on players are definitely low. So we want to make sure that we're getting things um, up as much as possible. Matches are still going to be the thing that match matters the most in terms of match fitness. So friendlies really, really help building your team out. While you're doing friendlies, once I actually start doing friendlies, I'm actually going to be doing training on my older or my, my bench players because they need it more because they're not playing in the friendlies as much. Um, whereas the starting lineup is going to be the ones doing the training drills so um or doing the matches sorry so we'll we'll show you guys that as it comes all right so we finished all three drills sorry the sun just came out to my right side and it's funny because it's really not even that bright in here but i guess it is uh but we got all three a's so we're good to go that's another training day done Brad Guzan saying hi to us, and we do appreciate that. The future is exciting, Brad. Thank you for reaching out, brother Maine. Um, and then let's go ahead and just play in a friendly. This is probably the only friendly that I'm going to play in um, because it's not a priority for us to do super well in these. Um, but we will go ahead and jump in. There is also the new sim match option um, that if you guys do want to use, just know that it goes at game speed or match speed. So whatever you have your match length at, so like I play at five minute halves, it will take five minutes per half. Um, so it doesn't make it any faster for you to not play the game. It's just if you don't want to play the game, uh, which I guess is cool, that's fine. It just kind of feels like they were trying to go after that FM audience or something. So, um, a little interesting, a little interesting, but, uh, it is what it is. Let's hop into a game, man. I'm excited. Oh, currently I'm on legendary. We're going to find out after this Hello, game, if I should stay on legendary well, on the career mode, we're doing on weather. stream. Absolutely um, we conditions. moved it to ultimate after two rain. games and because of how easy it was. And Dixon. already I can, all, I can kind of feel that there's something wrong with legendary. I'm also playing on competitor mode right now, which could also be the problem. Um, but as of right now, we're going to leave it alone and just see what happens. Um, I think Marcelino, yeah, Moreno's wearing the number 16, which is going to be wearing the number 10 in real life. So I'll switch that number over after this game. Um, that should be the only incorrect number on the squad, I think. Ooh, decent cross. Martinez. Aye, Barco, bad shot. I should say, as of right now, I'm going to leave Barco in the team. Um, I, I might sell him in the next window. Um, but as of right now, you know, even though he's not playing in real life, Bocanegra is convinced that it's because of an injury that he doesn't want to tell anybody about. But if you guys watch the most recent Atlanta United player ratings video, uh, he, might, he might be leaving. <laughs> so... Who knows? Moving Who knows? The, the rumor's been for a while now that he's leaving, but, you know, Wonderful it is what it is. But as of right now, we're keeping him in the team. Eric 
good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. Oh, nice turn from Rosetto. Horrible shot. Dude, nobody on this team can shoot straight. And Joseph's not ending up in the places that I need him to be. Ay, ay, ay. We might have to be looking at some custom tactics here, boys, because something's not feeling right with the team. Cabral. Aguirre. All right, end of the first half. It's still nil-nil. So maybe ultimate difficulty is not in our future for this career mode for whatever reason. Um, I have been messing around. My uh, my custom controls uh, reset. This is what I usually play on. Off on time finishing. Auto switching. I tend to really only do air balls and loose balls. Auto move switching assistance. I don't like having that on. Jockeying. Assisted jockeying has felt awful for me. So I honestly keep it on manual. Um... Auto flare passes I'm leaving on for now, but I'm not really a big fan of. Uh, assisted headers I've turned off just because I have them off on, on online and it feels good, so I, I just prefer it off. Um, through ball assistance I actually had on semi earlier. Uh, didn't feel great, so I took it off. I have semi shot assistance, but this is the big one. My pass receiver lock reset to late. Please remember, since last year in FIFA 20, turn pass receiver lock to early if it's on late your passes are not going to go where they're supposed to go um, because it's going to be trying to uh if, if you are the type of player that you try to pass the ball and then immediately move with that player as you pass it um you tend to end up passing to the the, the other player because you already moved your analog stick so if you're like me and you do that a lot, you definitely want it on early because then it picks the player you're passing to earlier on. But we'll see. This team's pretty hard to break down right now, so I got to focus up and hopefully get the win here. We'll take a sweaty goal. We'll take a sweaty goal. Just as, just as I'm saying that, we get a nice little sweaty goal to Rosetto. Probably could have shot it with Joseph Martinez, but I'm just going to take the easy goal. That way we can focus up a little bit more here. Nice little start to the game. And uh, we just keep moving forward. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Intelligent threaded pass here. Oh, another cross into Rosetto. Oh, my God. I just thought I was crossing it in for a corner right there. I'm not even going to lie to you. I was just trying to get a corner out of that. But we'll take it. What a ball into Rosetto. He grabbed himself a second goal of the game. Not a player I intended in starting at the beginning of the season. I was honestly thinking I was going to end up moving Moreno back to center attacking mid where I preferred playing with him in the first episode or the first game that I played of FIFA 21 with Atlanta United. Um, that's where I preferred playing him. Um, but, I don't know, that run felt pretty good. He's positioning himself in the box really well. Um, I do still need to change the instructions on Joseph Martinez to get in behind. So it'll be interesting to see if he still gets into the positions I need him to. Um, oh, what a bad shot. What a bad shot, Moreno. Um, hopefully, we'll see. Uh, if he can still keep getting to the right spots after I put get in behind on Joseph Martin. Oh, nice run from Jurgen Dam here. Nice little run from Jurgen Dam. I think Joseph's offside. Oh, he wasn't. Barco. Oh, my God. Oh, nice turn from Moreno. What a turn and the post. No shot. That would have been a beautiful first goal for Marcelino. Oh my goodness, it would have been beautiful. It would have been beautiful. Oh, Joseph misses the cross to Barco. Dang, just got to tighten up on some of those passes. Teammate and support, Martinez. We can't score. Defense keeps getting in our way. Nice defense, boys. Marcelino into Rometty. Rometty into Barco. Too close to the keeper. Damn. Oh, that's a nice run. Ooh, I left the middle of the field open. I was trying to put Franco Escobar back in his position. I went ahead and made all five substitutions I think I have. Um, brought in a slew of different players just uh, for the end of the game here. Okay, Kubo. Crossing possibilities. Oh, a ball into Jake Mulraney and the goal it is. Does Jake Mulraney have red hair? 
Um, questionable. Questionable. They did the same thing to Chris Goslin back uh, back a few years ago. I think it's supposed to be brown hair, but it just comes out orange. Kind of weird. 3-0, though. 3-0. Much better second half. We started breaking down, down the team a little bit better. The passes are connecting a lot better now as well. Ooh, okay. John Galeher. Let's go, baby. 4-0. Uh, Beautiful first game. Might leave this episode short today um, and just do the one game plus the training sessions and stuff that we did. Uh, just because it was kind of a intro of the new features into, into FIFA 21. Um, that way it's not too long of an episode because I'm sure I talked a lot earlier. But this is the end of the game. We'll, uh, we'll check out some training and stuff and we'll just simulate through the rest of the preseason um and just make sure things keep going the way that we need them to go let's go baby again we don't really need to win the preseason tournament so uh we won't play through the whole thing we'll simulate it end out the tournament today uh that way next episode we can start with the mls and get things rocking and rolling um, so we have two days of rest and then we have this game. Um, if I go into team management, we're just going to throw in a bench team real quick. Uh, Castro, let's start Wolf. Why not? You know, why not? Now, as you guys are going to see on the screen here, um, when you play players out of position, it actually tells you what their rating is now. Um, now, I think he's a negative seven because he's playing CM. So if I actually switch these two and then... Wait, why can't I not get you into CDM anymore? Oh, that's annoying. It's not even going to let me put him at CDM. Whatever, he's going to be a negative four then. But it'll actually show you what stats get declined by playing a player out of position. Um, but you also see the, their rating increase based on their uh, sharpness. So the sharpness and form gets better, which also increases their uh, their ratings as well. So we're just going to make sure that we have a bunch of bench players. We want to make sure we're getting everybody uh, sharp for the start of the season. That way we can play whoever we need to um, once we do get things going. Um, let's go ahead and simulate this game. We're just going to do a quick sim. There's no reason for us to do anything else. We ended up losing 3-0. Kind of expected again, but we're just here for the fitness. Um, we're not interested in trying to win this thing. Boom, ba -dum, boom. More training. Um, I'm not going to do this training. I'm going to change the drills and just do some drills that we uh, usually do. So we can just simulate them. Change drill. Collect the trophy, sure. And then shots from all angles. Change drill. Ooh, I haven't done any shooting ones yet. We'll do extreme hot potato. Yep, simulate all. So as you guys see, we got a best grade and drill results of A on both because we did already do those drills before. So that's awesome, that's great. Um, we're gonna go ahead and simulate this game as well. Uh, go ahead and play this. Wait, is that a signing? The transfer window is turned off. How is there a signing? I turned the first transfer window off. Oh, wait, what month is it? Because it's January, 2020, the window doesn't close which means the summer window is going to be closed. Wait, is the window open for me? But if I go to the summer... Oh, wait, it says transfer window. Is it open right now for me? So the window is open right now, but it's going to be closed in the summer. Oh, why do I start in January? That blows. Why did they make me start in January? Oh, they screwed me. I can't keep this realistic at all then. Well, I guess this is a shorter window. Maybe less transfers will happen because it's a January transfer window. So we'll keep it the way that it is. Um, 
I'm trying to think if I want to go sign anybody. See, like, look how many signings have already happened, man. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Um, I'll only sign somebody. Well, no, I want to go sign somebody. No. I'll, I'll go sign somebody if we end up selling anybody. Nobody's come in for a transfer offer yet. So we'll keep the team the same for the whole first season. Um, and then the next window, so the one next January, will do. Let's go ahead and just quick sim with this team. Full starting lineup. We end up winning the game 1-0. Five shots, three on target. And we won 1-0. Let's go, baby. Um... Which does mean we have to play against FC Juarez. Uh, let's go team management. Make sure we're rotating the lineup properly. All right. Quick sim the match. We end up winning 2-1. We're actually going to simulate this thing and actually end up winning it. I don't know. Pueblo is the, Puebla is the team that beat us last time, right? They're, they're the one team that's beaten us. Our development's already finished for Anton Walks to be a center back, by the way. Um, so he'll feel more comfortable playing at center back and won't get that rating decrease anymore for playing at center back. Um, offer comes in for Brad Guzan for 280 for 280. That's awful. So we're just gonna go ahead and reject that Norwich don't need him anyways. Um, we got the position change option email and then tournament prize money. We're winning that as well. So, um, training day. All right, and this is the team we're going to go with for the final of the friendly. Adam John's going to start uh, just because Joseph Martinez is really, really tired because we just played a game and he went through training as well. Uh, Kubo Torres on the bench. Brooks Lennon's going to start on the right side. We're just going to quick sim the match to end out the episode. And we end up losing 1-0, unfortunately. But it is what it is. It was just a preseason friendly that we're not too focused with. So... Um, again, we're not going to sign anybody in this window because I didn't intend on signing anybody uh, until January 2021, and I do want to keep it that way. Um, so we're just going to keep things rocking and just keep things running. Next episode, we'll do a little bit more training. I'm going to try to finish the rest of the training drills in between games so you guys don't have to watch them. And then uh, we'll jump into the MLS, the start of the MLS season. Uh, next episode again we're gonna go into two games per episode again this year um, but if you guys did enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and until the next one i'll see you guys later peace Is it my fault?